tonight we're going to do a video on motorways and uh, <clears throat> I will be doing a commentary, not in order to teach commentary uh, but just to uh, highlight the things I'm looking at there may be some things I expect that the average driver will not be normally be taking much notice of which you might pick up on as I mentioned the section of motorway I'm going to be driving is close to Birmingham, the M42 running from junction 6 to junction 3 um, it's an area of smart motorway which means that the traffic sometimes traffic speeds are sometimes controlled by signs on the overhead gantry uh, I read somewhere or heard someone say that this is one of the busiest stretches of motorway in the country um, actually tonight is Friday night it's now about 7 o'clock so it shouldn't be terribly busy, but it, as it's one of the busiest areas in the country, it'll be busy enough, I'm sure. So we're going to be joining the motorway in a few moments on the M42 travelling south. And uh, I shall just be talking about what I'm looking at and what I'm planning to do uh, as we proceed. Uh, maybe mention some of the motorway rules that uh, perhaps some of you are not aware of, and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful. Not quite sure what the overall distance is from this junction to where I turn around. 10 to 15 miles I guess. Before I turn around. So it's <coughs> the third exit from this roundabout to the right. Just checking the vehicle behind. Got green lights here. I'm going to clarify my intention to turn right with a signal, but I can do it in the centre lane. The vehicle behind has dropped back slightly, and now I can cancel the signal. Red lights, mirror, gently bringing the speed off, taking second. So keeping over the left, and after the uh, motorcycle museum, we've got the entrance to the motorway here. So I'm coming on, left signal to enter, sign for queuing vehicles, not likely I don't think this time on a Friday. We can take the right or the left, I'm going to take the left here. Sometimes the advantage of the right lane is you get a better view into the motorway itself. Um, up into five, I'm going to start checking my mirrors now to see what's coming down on the motorway. It is illegal to cross the chevrons, We've got solid lines of chevrons. It's illegal to cross those. The, the signs are not in action at the moment. So I'm signalling to move out, checking rear and right mirrors. Lane 1 is clear, so I head into lane 1. Hard shoulder for emergency use only at this time of uh, this time of night. None of the speed limit signs are showing. Doing 60 at the moment. Just looking well ahead. Got a coach ahead. It is fairly busy, quite a lot of traffic ahead and behind up to 65, looking down through and under the bridge. The one following me, not too close though, not pressing at all. Slowly gaining a little more speed. I'm going to be looking for my opportunity in a few moments to move into the centre. Now the police uh, terminology normally is this lane is lane 1, the centre lane is lane 2 and the far lane near the central reservation is lane 3 and that's the terminology I'll be using when I'm talking about lanes 1, 2 and 3. You begin at the left, moving across to the right. Still doing about 65. I might have an opportunity now to move out. I'm going to signal to move out, checking shoulder, both mirrors, all's well, out into the centre. Lots of traffic ahead in lane 2. I'm up near a 70 now. Got a good gap from the vehicle in front. And I've got a vehicle on the left, closing the gap in lane 1. Now doing 70, mirror. I am in 5, traffic behind lane 2 and lane 3, no problems at all, quite a bit of traffic ahead still. Not gaining very rapidly on the coach, he must be up around 70, although coaches are supposed to be doing 60. It's taken me a long time to catch him, mirror. Again, fairly clear behind in lane uh, 2 and lane 3, and the vehicle in lane 1 now has dropped back into a more sensible place. We have an exit, uh, a mile ahead, two thirds of a mile ahead. This will be junction 5, mirror, looking across the bend here, 
Traffic's all moving well. I can see brake lights, lanes two and three ahead. They've gone off now, so traffic's still moving okay. I am gaining steadily on the coach. Brake lights ahead in lane two, traffic moving out to lane three. No problems at all behind me. Vehicles all well back, driving fairly patiently and sensibly at the moment. Gaining on the coach, just looking to see if the coach has ambitions to come out. Yes, he has. Not very well timed. Had to touch the brakes there, he just couldn't have pulled out at the worst time. Mirror. Car behind now closing quite rapidly as the coach has made me slow down. Two or three vehicles now closing on me in lane three. Just opened my gap up again from the coach who is in close to 70. <coughs> so I'll have to keep in mind that this coach driver can be a bit careless. Road bending around towards the left, traffic all moving well. There will be a slip road here on the left because we've had a, a junction go off, so there will be traffic coming on. There's no sign of a, well there's not much movement, there is a vehicle coming out, not going to create any problems for me at the moment, mirror. Vehicles in lanes 1, 2 and 3 behind, all at the moment fairly well back. Does this Mercedes have any ambitions to join lane 2? I'm just watching him for a moment. He looks as though he's going to stay where he is so he can add a few miles an hour on. The next question I'm asking is the coach going to back to lane one? Mirror. Still closing a little on me behind in lane two. I'm up around 70. I don't have enough speed to play with to overtake the coach. I'm doing about 67 by the speedometer. Keeping my distance from the coach, making sure I've got uh, room to stop if it breaks without uh, panicking, without drama. Mirror car behind now pretty close so I'm going to make sure I keep my gap from the coach car behind now moving out from lane 2 to lane 3 coach still happily uh, driving down lane 2 we've got another exit coming up for junction 4 two thirds of a mile mirror traffic still closing in lanes 2 and lane 3 quite a lot of traffic in lane 1 I can see a heavy just up ahead in lane 1 and heavies have to, we have to be very careful about heavies, they cause a lot of problems. Uh, Often times I'll move out rather precariously without giving much warning for following traffic. Uh, so heavies one has to be very careful about on the motorway mirror. Still got uh, traffic overtaking one, just about to come past me in lane three. Traffic closing in lane three, vehicle in lane two behind keeping his distance. Exit for lane two, approaching. Coach has moved in, so now I'm going to add a few miles an hour on. I can take this vehicle on the left, no problem at all. And I may have opportunity to pass the coach as well. I can see the lorry now, just ahead of the coach, going under the bridge. <coughs> Doing around 70. Uh, vehicle behind, well back in lane 2. No threat at the moment from lane 3. Just watching the coach again in case he did, does what he did last time. I'm going to move to lane 3 for safety, because I think the coach driver might have plans to come out. There he is. So keeping my space from the red, uh, from the uh, white be beamer, and this time I can maintain 70 and take the coach mirror. No pressure from behind at the moment. No problems for the truck in lane one. He's holding his place. There's no reason for him to move out. Check in the mirror. All clear behind. Now I want to get the coach in my rear view mirror, so I know I'm well past the front of the coach in the mirror, and then I'm going to signal to move back to lane two. Got another heavy head in lane one. And uh, traffic again moving nicely, coming up to junction 3A for the M40. I'm staying on the M42, I'm not taking this exit. And I'm not moving back to lane 1 because I am closing fairly rapidly on the heavy. Slight uphill gradient here and a left hand bend. Got a course of closing quite rapidly behind me in lane 2. <coughs> lane 3 however is well clear. Course is gaining so he's about to be out for sure. And we have the heavy coming out as well because he wants to stay on the M42. So once the course has gone, I'm going to take lane three to make allowances for the heavy. The course has decided to get himself in behind it. And uh, keeping out here so we can take the heavy, maintaining a ste steady 70 at the moment. And there'll be a, an exit just ahead. Holding it at steady 70, mirror. No one in lane three at all to concern me behind. Traffic's all well back in lane three. Looking ahead, we've got um, a slight left-hand bend, 
and I can use lane 2 here we get the lorry again in my rear view mirror so I know I'm well past and I can actually move in, I'm going to use a signal because there's traffic coming down my left hand side got a sign for a bend here, mirror, I'm just going to back off the gas a little bit for the bend sign telling me it's a national speed limit, road works 3 miles ahead, mirror just dropped off to about 60 here and uh, just keep your eye on following traffic one about to overtake in lane 2 the lorry is keeping back we are going to join uh, the motorway in a moment so just holding a steady uh, 60 on the bend here the lorry is not gaining on me in lane 1 behind mirror but there are there is other traffic coming down lane 2 quite quickly so I'm going to keep over on the left because of the traffic gaining on me and take the long lane onto the motorway. Now I can add some miles an hour on, but endeavouring to match my speed to the traffic that's on the motorway in order to move out. So checking the mirrors, rear and right, making a right signal now. There are vehicles in lane 1 coming alongside me. They do have priority, so I can let this one go and then in fact I don't need to move out here can't hold this lane. Now there's congestion at Junction 3 which is where I'm coming off. This was, I came down here yesterday and this is quite bad so what I will do is I will go on to Junction 2 and turn the car around there. Now we're coming into a 50 so bringing the brakes in and just letting it drop to 50. In all probability the lorry now will close up rapidly behind me and overtake. Few vehicles uh, like to slow down when they have to. just doing around 50 at the moment, just a tad above and the lorry is indeed closing on me and going out to lane 2. But that's okay, I'm holding my speed steady at 50 here. The lorry closing right up on me now and out into lane 2 and one pulling in front into lane 1. I'll just have a look at the congestion on the slip road and decide whether I'm going to come up here or go on down to junction 2. It's quite often the case that when you get a reduction in speed limit, such as we have here, and you move in and slow down, everything goes past. And especially uh, if you have to slow to 40. Few vehicles will do that. Um, I have found from experience that sometimes, uh, if you're not careful, you can get trapped with traffic passing on both sides if you're in lane 2. So uh, exit 3 is about a mile away and the sign a little while back told us there was congestion. Lots of traffic behind, but it is all behaving quite sensibly. It's in all three lanes behind me, lots of it, but not really closing, so they are, for the most part, obeying the temporary speed limit. Road bending around towards the right, I can see another heavy up in lane one. And uh, just checking out the, the yellow sign here. So we're getting about a half a mile away now. The marker signs are normally at one mile, as a rule, one mile, half a mile, and then again at the exit itself. Still got 50 limit here. Mirror. Traffic is closing, but quite slowly, uh, in lanes two and three. Beginning to gain on me now, some of them. I'm doing 50 so he must be doing 60 but that's par for the course, we expect that although in fairness that'd be pretty well behaved for a few moments ok so it looks as though we might be able to take exit 3 here there is some congestion but we're actually off the motorway here plenty of braking, no one followed me in congestion is not nearly so bad as it was yesterday and we have a 30 sign up ahead and I'm planning to turn right at the roundabout and head back up. Turning right at the roundabout will be the third exit. One or two cars in behind me now, taking second. And I'm going to go right. Mirrors, right signal. Now because I'm probably going to have to wait in the queue here, I'm going to take the signal off so it's not flashing in the face of the man behind me unnecessarily. I'll take in the Birmingham exit A435, third exit on the right. Quite a lot of traffic now come up into the slip lane behind. 
I can see traffic on the roundabout underneath the plan board here moving around and it looks as though um, no I thought that was I can see a green light but it's not mine see the traffic moving and now the traffic is beginning to move in the slip road so signal back on keeping an eye on the lights as we approach making sure nobody's moving on my right that's fine I can keep close to the roundabout here the red lights ahead mirror and again I'm going to switch the signal off so that it's not flashing in the man's face behind. Handbrake and neutral. Lights are changing, so selecting the gears, checking all the mirrors. And signal back on now for the third exit. Approaching the second exit, which would take me back on the motorway, which I don't want. Checking the rear and left mirrors as I move across toward the left curb here. I can take the signal off now, I've got green lights, mirror. And I'm taking the next exit. So I'm going to make a left signal for that. And it's this exit. Now we've got a 30 limit. I am actually doing 30 at the moment. So just holding my speed where it is. And then just after the cones we've got a national speed limit sign. So I'm going to indicate left to move over after the cones. We've got traffic following closely. And then we can come across. I'm on dual carriageway. Speed limit here is 70, that's a, a, a warning sign, not a, not a mandatory sign. 50 is recommended, not mandatory. No, it's not prohibitive to go over 50 here. When it's a triangle, it's a hazard warning, it's a recommended speed. I'm doing about 50, looking up the hill ahead. Um, I can add a little bit, little bit of speed on now. Looking for an opportunity to come off and turn around and go back on the motorway. Approaching the entrance to the motorway again, uh, coming back to the M42. Uh, it's the second exit to the left of this roundabout. And there are some lights uh, governing the traffic at this junction. Red lights at the moment, mirror. I need to keep tyres and tarmac inside of the vehicle in front, coming to a gentle stop. Lights have changed, so I'm taking first, checking rear, right, and near mirrors. Just keeping an eye on the traffic on the right, they have stopped. I'm taking the second left to rejoin the motorway towards Birmingham. The M42 at junction 3. Signaling to exit. Got a heavy in lane 1 as I come around. So I might look for the opportunity to take lane 2. Though it's not really wide enough here, there is only one slip lane. Trying to match my speed to the traffic on the motorway, making a right signal, using my mirrors now, and uh, it looks as though it's clear to move out in lane one, and I'm going to keep picking up speed and go out to lane two because of the number of heavies that up ahead. And we have two heavies in lane three, so I'm going out to lane two, so I'm out to lane three, plenty of space behind, and up to 70. Got a number of vehicles in lane uh, Two, including caravans. Vehicles gaining on me in lane three now, but I can't move in just yet. Holding a steady 70 mirror. I'm going to move back to left now, checking rear and left mirror, signaling for the vehicle closing very rapidly in lane three. Road bending around towards the left, caravan out to join me in lane two. And another one in lane one, mirror. Traffic coming up quite rapidly on me, I'm doing just short of 70. Road bending around to the left, I can see some more heavies further ahead. Traffic still gaining on me, I'm doing just a little under 70. I'm now picking it up to 70 as I've got a good space in the caravan. I can see another heavy further down, road bending towards the right. Still quite a lot of traffic, lots of vehicles coming up lane 3. Uh, fairly well over the speed limit, got a van in behind me in lane 2. Just being mindful of the black car and the caravan ahead. And I want to stay on the M42. And uh, so just checking the signs here, I'm okay in this lane for the moment, still maintaining 70. <coughs> and this lane will allow me to slide across for the M42 in a few moments. The van closer behind than he ought to be at this speed. 
uh, but not too threatening. I'm just going to back off the gas and I've got to touch the brakes for the caravan. I can't go to lane 3 because I want to come off on the M42. So I'm now down to 60, keeping my stopping distance from the caravan. The van behind dropped off just slightly. Mirror. Gaining on the vehicles in lane 1. The hatches have started now for the exit for the M42, or rather the, the smaller broken line. There'll be another one in a moment. I can add some speed on here. And I'm looking for the opportunity now to take the other lane onto the M42, check in the mirrors. Man behind me moved in to the left. I'm doing 70. Still okay in this lane for the M42, and there'll be another opportunity to move over coming up. So rear. I'm going to signal left, I'm going to the car closing very rapidly in lane 2 and taking this next exit here. Now there will be a, a, a ramp here. Vehicle behind extremely close at this speed, entering the bend. I'm just backing off the gas slightly to take the bend. One coming down my left. I'm doing 60 on the bend. I'm going to come into the left now, I have the opportunity the vehicle behind is dangerously close. Signal off, keeping a space from the caravan on lane one and another one moving out that's going to slow all the traffic in lane two. So I'm on the slip road mirror, got one coming down the slip road behind me in lane two. A little bit of madness going on just in front of me. Checking the rear and right mirrors. Signal for the vehicle behind, he's moved out to two so I can now move out safely to one. Doing at the moment 55, just picking up some speed. Now I can add a few miles an hour on. I should be closing on the lorry, so signal and add to two. And I am closing now on the heavy mirror. No the vehicles close behind, although there is a lot of traffic back there. But at the moment it's all well back. Doing around 65. Got more heavies on the left. Caravan coming out into lane two. Mirror. Got a junction, slip road going off. Uh, just a little way ahead. Perfectly safe to overpass the lorry, no reason why you should want to move out. And uh, exit 4 is one mile away. So just to repeat, you get a, a sign a mile away usually, and then you get another one half a mile away, and then one at the uh, exit. So you can see the second gantry, there's another sign there, that would be a half mile marker. I'm doing about 65. Uh, another heavy on the left. Traffic is closing down uh, on me in lane 3, so I'm not going into lane 3, I'm up to nearly 70. I've got a reasonable gap from the vehicle in front, plenty of time to stop if he brakes. And road now bending around towards the left. See some caravans down there as well. Mirror. Still closing on the heavy. Looking down the left hand side of the heavy, there's no threat to him at all, there's no reason why he should need to move out. And now I've got a Volvo closing quite rapidly, I mean lane 3, mirror. In fact they're all closing up now in lanes 1, 2 and 3, I'm doing 65. Vehicle in front's doing about 65, I've got a good gap, exit, uh, slip road going off. Now normally if you get a slip road going off you'll have two bridges, which will be for the roundabout, and then the slip road coming on. I'm up to nearly 70, mirror, blue car closing up quite rapidly behind me. I'm not going into one because you can see a caravan over there, plus there will be traffic coming on at the slip road. So I'm just going to keep myself out of harm's way here, staying in lane two to allow that traffic to come out. Mirror. Clear behind, well back in lane two on a long follow, but there are a number of cars closing in lane three. So just holding it out in lane two, looking ahead, we've got a caravan, a number of vehicles coming out into lane one mirror. At 65, got a good gap from the vehicle ahead. Now the car in lane one is very close to the caravan, so he may have ambitions to come out, just be mindful of him as the gap closes. So I've got one too close behind, so uh, I've got to watch out for the sandwich, the guy behind and the guy that might be planning to come out from the left. We have a sign for another exit, the A41, one mile away. Doing 70 now in fifth gear. Quite comfortably, I'm expecting the Corsa to draw closer to that white line in a moment, but just watching him cautiously as I come up, closing the gap on him, mirror. The guy behind now has dropped a bit more back, now he's doing a fighter pilot's overtaken out into lane 3, coming by. 
mirror. The Corsa appears to be content where he is, so I think I can quite safely go by here. Half a mile to exit 5, closing on the caravan in lane 1. Van ahead of him, vans are not usually a problem. Uh, they're pretty nippy some of these vans, mirror. Good gap in lane 2 behind, quite a long follow. Vehicle coming down lane 3. Looking across the roundabout, I can see, sorry, the, uh, the bend, I can see another heavy down there. And so, at the moment, there's quite a few vehicles in lane 1. I'm going to stay out in lane 2. So here we have the exit for junction 5. So because there's a roundabout at the top of the hill, you very often will get two bridges. Which is the traffic on the roundabout mirror. I'm going to stay out in lane 2 because after the second bridge, there'll be a slip lane bringing traffic on. So by staying out here, I'm keeping myself out of danger. Just keeping an eye on the, tr on the vehicles in lane 1 in case the slip road traffic throws them out. Mirror. Clear behind in lane 2. No, no threats at all. No danger from the slip road. Closing on the heavy up ahead. Mirror. One in lane 2. Long follow. One cutting in rather closely just ahead. Mirror. Road bending around now towards the left. Just keeping an eye on these vehicles on the left as we come by. Not really posing any dangers at the moment. There is one very close to the lorry, so he might have plans to come to lane two. And I've got one closing on me in lane two, so just be watchful of what's going on behind. It's far too close. But the guy in lane one's not coming yet, so we can just add a few miles an hour back up to 70. Mirror. Vehicle behind still way too close at this speed, but I've got a good space ahead. And uh, passing the heavy now. Mirror. Another one ahead, we have a tanker ahead plus another heavy ahead of that. So holding it at 70, I'm not coming in because of the heavy vehicles. So I'm going to stay out at 2, in lane 2. Brakes on the vehicle in lane 1, mirror. He's out to join us into lane 2. I'm gaining on the tanker, so I'm going to stay where I am. Blue vehicle, a little bit more sensible now. I'm doing the steady 70. He's still clued too close at this speed, but not particularly dangerous. Looking well ahead. I can see some brake lights under the bridge up ahead, but they've all gone off now. Mirror closing on the tanker. There's no reason why the tanker should come out. There's no threat to him at all. And I'm going to be taking exit number six uh, for Birmingham, which is a mile away. Mirror. I will have time at, at 70. I'm covering a mile, uh, a mile a minute in less than a minute. 60, of course, is a mile a minute. So uh, if I was doing 60, it'd take me a minute to get to the exit. I'm doing 70 so it's going to take me a little bit less but it does give me time to get past the tanker as I approach the half mile marker so I know that that would take me half a minute if I was doing 60. Checking the mirrors now, planning to move across I want the uh, heavy in my rear view mirror, now I'm signalling for the nut job behind me as I move across into lane 1. Nut job's gone out to 3, mirror. Gaining on the vehicles ahead, I am taking the next exit, we've got markers here, I'm doing 70 so I'm indicating at marker 3. I was taught and I always tend to do it, if you're doing 70 marker 3 signal, if you're doing 50 marker 2, if you're doing 30 marker 1. So across into the uh, exit lane now, and I can take my signal off because I've actually exited the motorway, I'm on the slip lane. And I'm heading for the A45, uh, just a little way ahead I should be going left at the mirror, at the, uh, at the roundabout first exit. Change of road surface up there, and traffic lights, mirror, no one following me at all. Keeping in the left for the left turn. I'm going to brake early, advisory speed of 30, but if I get my brakes on early I can come to 3 here. I am doing 30, and I can take this turn, no need to signal. No one to benefit at all. Haven't had to stop. Mirror. No one closing behind. Just being aware of the throwing arrows. No one coming behind me at all. And into four. So that's a little motorway session. I hope that was helpful. Um, we might do another one in the not too distant future because there were some other things that uh, might have been said but the opportunity didn't really present itself. But hopefully that was helpful. Uh, some things to think about there for your motorway driving. Thanks for watching.